The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock. 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock, Sherman and Tingle. What do you have to say for yourself, Jill? About what? About the storm that has been created in the past two days. Oh, over you mean something by, so by Tingle? About something no. that was so innocent and has now exploded. I mean, we have received all of these hate emails, all going after Jill. It was a couple of days ago. We were talking about, because that, that one couple got banned from Kankakee by that hotel. So it's like, as a joke, we're like, okay, if you had to ban one town, what would you do? You know, which town would you do? Right. And we all picked, in, you know, in jest. Of and who'd you town. pick, Jill? Yeah. Well, uh, remind me who you guys picked first. Because uh, I, I want you to Park. say it out loud again in case those residents can get hostile and angry at you like the ones are getting at me. Franklin Park and um, Sherman, what did you pick? I said I loved all the people that in No, this no, town. no. Listen, what town? Listen. Don't give a little sales pitch <laughs> before you <laughs> say no. it. Hey, it's the way that I expressed Just say it. say the that town. He's trying to kiss up, isn't he? I know. Listen, this is how I didn't get in trouble. And look at you look at all the emails you got. We got people on hold that are calling up about this because we brought it up again yesterday. I said I loved all the people, okay. but I have to ban this town because this one woman took it way out of context one time. It was Piatone. Piatone. So I banned Piatone. But it was an all in jest. But you were very I don't know. I I, I guess I, too I was truthful, put, I guess. I was put on the spot and like you guys had to choose something. So I chose Orland Hills, not because of any reason other than I needed to choose one, and I picked the one that was closest to the mall oh. because shopping is always crowded. Oh, you should hear these emails. But oh, my Tingle God. Uh. yesterday made up a bunch of stuff that I said that I didn't say, Tingle and make then up people something? believed what? him. What are you talking about? Tingle said, oh, remember you said they're all white trash or I whatever, and I I never said that. I don't think he said that. I think he said what something he about say? Walmart. He said something about Walmart whatever trash he said, or something. I I've know. never said it. Uh. He used a his own words, oh. and do you have he, audio proof? he pretended that I said that. Do you have audio proof? I have Don't audio proof of, yes, I do. Don't, Don't I, hear it. Don't ask for that. She, she can go back to that. I, I, I didn't say I wait till you audio he, proof. Wait till you hear some of these emails, and we were able to get one of the, the people that emailed one one of these people on the phone. They're waiting to talk to Good. Jill. I will defend myself. Oh, they want to defend Jill. Orland Hills. Well, wow. By the way, we love, Tingle and I love Orland, Orland Hills. Hills is awesome. You guys we, did not even think, know it existed th- until I picked it in that fake context. No, we are full community. of it. We it's thought, a great community. You did. Where is it? What was it? What streets run through right Orland you, again? Yeah, 159th. Yeah. Oh, you looked since Harlem. I asked you that no, yesterday. Harlem, I'm just sitting here eating chili, and I just know that offhand. You guys are liars. Wait till you hear the emails. Oh, liars. Them going after Jill and the calls next on The Drive. Sherman and Tingle in the morning. All the drama that you have started, Jill. What's going on with you? I'm finding the audio from yesterday is what's going on with me. Oh, okay. I'll have you know. <laughs> oh, Orland Hills, they're just, they're just going after you because you said you wanted to ban Orland Hills for the reason of because they park... In because your spots, your spots at the mall. Anybody who lives anywhere near Orland knows that Orland has a, a big mall, and then the the shopping area surrounding the mall it just keeps growing and growing. There's sh- all the shopping everywhere, but it's super crowded all the time. It's hard to park. It's just congested. So they you had wanted to, to eliminate a town from the face of the earth. <laughs> well, so no, I just you guys put me on the spot and made me choose a town to ban. So I decided to ban Orland Hills because I thought it would make it easier to park when I have to go shopping. Right. Well, we were lighthearted about it, and it seemed like you were very. No, it doesn't. Very truthful. You are like, like we were just kidding about you know <laughs> banning Piatone and Franklin Park. That was, that was so. That has started a storm. Yeah. Uh, like this this email we got from Mark. Mark, longtime listener, tune in to Sherman and Tingle every morning, was a fan of Jill until this morning. Jill, sorry that us low-life Orland Hills residents take your parking I spaces at the that. mall. <laughs> but we have been going there as long as you have. Wonder how many of us you actually know and have such a low opinion of us. Even Tingle made comments about what you think about us. Have a great holiday, you Orland Park snob. I, Tingle <laughs> said that. I didn't say that. Tingle put words in my mouth that that did not happen. Daniel. Oh, my God. Daniel. Yes. Daniel. Um, Well, I I supported Jill, and then, uh, I I don't know, I'm starting to think, you know, banning Orland Hills, because I also live in Orland Park, is like banning your neighbor. I mean, I wouldn't want to ban my neighbor just to... What are you talking about here? They made me choose. They made me pick a town. I had to pick somebody. It wasn't personal. I would have picked picked, uh, Elsip. Or something Alsip. nowhere near. Yeah. Then, then I'd well, offend terrible. everybody yeah. in We're going to take Alsip out of this. Wait, listen to this one. Okay, this is from Julianne. 
We got this one yesterday after what you said yesterday. All right, Jill. Listen to this, Jill. I didn't say anything yesterday. Did not appreciate the comments made by Jill this morning about Orland Hills. I have lived here for over 20 years, and I am not by far Walmart trash. Which is what I, Tingle said. I think that I I think that was very rude, and I am sure you will be losing listeners because of that. Who is she to judge the towns we live in? If you don't like it, don't visit us. We are not offended in the least. We don't like white yuppie people anyway. Oh! I am not a white yuppie person. She misunderstood what was said. Well, let's let's talk to her here. We we are able to find She's on Ju- the phone. Julianne from Orland Hills. We love you, Tingle, and I love you, Julianne. So thank you for coming on. I think Orland Hills is a great community. Yeah. We, we've always you guys don't even didn't even know it existed we've, we've until been, I said it. We've always been huge, huge fans. Julianne, are you there? Or are you, are you, are you fuming? I am here. Okay, <laughs> and right. I'm happy to be on the show with you this morning. Thank you so much. So, so tell us, what are your thoughts when you heard that about Orland Hills? Well, my feelings were very hurt. I have to be honest with you. I, I've lived here for 20 years, and for her to just come out and say, "I have to ban you because there's no room to park at the mall," is like a joke. I mean. Orland Hills has a population of like 7,000 people. Do you really think if you got rid of us, you'd have a parking spot? I mean, Orland Park's got over 60,000 people in population. Yeah. We're not going to make much of a difference if you got rid of us. I know. Jill doesn't want to park far. She wants the close parking spot. I really hate walking when I park. This is a, this this is a person that you're going after. You have, you have waged war against Julianne and the rest of Orland Hills, Jill. I have done no such thing. You fired the shot over the bow. It's not real. It's pretend banning. I don't didn't sound didn't sound pretend to me. Well, you know what, Jill? You can have my parking spot at Orland Square Mall because I don't shop there. Well, Thanks, Julianne. I do not shop there. Is it because with, it's so crowded? With, it, it, no, not that it's so crowded. I don't like to shop with the white trash and yuppie people that are <laughs> oh, over there. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Honest to God. I go to Oak Brook. I go everywhere else but here. Oh, and wait, I literally wait, live five wait, minutes wait. away. You think that Oak Brook doesn't have yuppie white people? You are not looking around when you're shopping there. Then. Mm. Julianne. Better quality products. Come on, hon. Oh. This place is... And, and then not even to mention, do you think it's just Orland Park and Tinley Park that's shopping at the mall here? Of course not. Okay. It's the entire thing goes for the Walmart that's over here too, Jill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Have you been to the Walmart? <laughs> I, I avoid the Walmart like nobody's business. Are you kidding? I go to the Walmart in New Lenox just to not go five minutes from my house. See, it's too crowded. She's with me. <laughs> She it's, knows. Mm-hmm. It's not, so crowded. There's other things hey, there you, that keep me away. Julianne, were you offended when uh, Jill said that all uh, Orland Hills people look like Walmart shoppers? Like I with did the not say that, on? and I can prove it. Yes, I was offended yeah. because I don't look like a Walmart I shopper. I never said that, Julianne. <laughs> Tingle said it, and I can prove it. Well, let's let's go back. Listen ba- to the radio right now. I'm uh, going to play. Can I play it? Please let me defend myself. <laughs> okay. Wait. Go ahead. Let's hear it. No, play it. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, see, she now. I have to play. I picked one that was near the town I live in, which is Orland Park, because... She said most people out there were dubbed tea. No, I didn't. So you added I that in later. that the shopping mall and the shopping in general Ooh. in Orland Park is so congested that I figured if I banned one of the other nearby suburbs, it would be less crowded and easier to get parking when I have to go shopping at the mall. And didn't you say they all look like Walmart customers? No, I like did not the- say that. Nope. See, Tingle said that. I don't even know that many people. I have to play back the tape. From the suburb uh, itself. I think I heard that. I just decided to ban a nearby one. So here's, you heard Tingle said those two things. I did not say those things. Hey, Julianne, we know how to alter audio, and I I believe that Jill has done this. That's live. I I literally (laughs) pulled it during the commercials so that I could play it back. I didn't even have time to edit it. Well, we we support Orland Hills like you wouldn't believe. Jill, Tingle said it, Julianne. Do not believe what he says. Julianne, we love you. Yes. We love you. We love Orland Hills. I love Hills. you guys, too. And I love Orland Hills. <laughs> and I'm never you answering these Orland fake Hills what now. town are you going to ban questions again. I'm out. I'll just say I'm I'm not answering. Jill's I refuse to answer. Jill has a shirt on that says I'm better than you right now. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, love you, Julia. No, no. I, I'm better than you. I get to work from home. Oh, my God. Oh, look at Jill. Uh, great. She does beat me there. Yeah, she, she has you. We love you, Orland Hills. That was great. Not so, as much as I do. It's the drive. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock.